K. Devamni, Assistant Professor of Statistics, Department of Mathematics, Kesar College of Arts and Science for Women. We discuss the topic of methods of dispersion. Methods of dispersion, also known as methods of variability, quantify the spread or variability of a data set. Some common methods of dispersion are range, standard deviation, quartile deviation, variation, mean deviation, and coefficient of variation. First, the first one is range. The range is the simplest measures of dispersion and is calculated by subtracting the minimum value from the maximum value in a data set. Standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance and provide a measure of dispersion in the same unit as the original data. It indicates the average distance of data point from the mean. The third one is variance. The variance measures the average squared deviation of each data point from the mean. Next one is quartile deviation. Quartile deviation is a measure of dispersion based on the spread of the middle 50 percentage of the data. It is calculated by subtracting the first quartile Q1 from the third quartile Q3. Mean deviation. The mean absolute deviation measure the average absolute difference between each data point and the mean. Sixth one is coefficient of variation. The coefficient of variation is the ratio of standard deviation to the mean expressed as percentage. It provides a relative measure of variability that allow for comparison between data set with different unit or scale. Correlation. Correlation refers to the relationship between two variables. Correlation denoted by R. The formula of correlation is sum of xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar divided by square root of sum of xi minus x bar whole square into square root of sum of yi minus y bar whole square. The patient correlation coefficient range from minus 1 to plus 1. Where R plus 1 indicate perfect positive correlation, minus 1 indicate perfect negative correlation, 0 indicate no relation between the two variables. The type of correlation is positive and negative correlation, simple and multiple correlation, partial and total correlation, and fourth one is linear and nonlinear correlation. Positive and negative correlation is if the variable tend to move together in the same direction, then it is called positive correlation. If the two variables tend to move in opposite direction, it is called negative correlation. Then simple and multiple correlation. We study only two variables. The relation is described as simple correlation. Multiple correlation. We study more than two variables simultaneously. Partial and total correlation. The study of two variables excluding some other variable is called partial correlation. In total correlation, in total correlation, all the facts are taken in account. Linear correlation. If the ratio of change between two variables is uniform, then there will be linear correlation. In non-linear correlation, the amount of change in one variable does not be a constant ratio of the amount of change in other variable. Next one is regression. Regression analysis is statistical method used to, to model the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variable. The primary goal of regression analysis is to understand the predict the value of independent variable based on the value of independent variable. Next one is probability. The concept of probability is measure of the chance of occurrence of an event. Mathematically, the probability of an event A denoted as probability of A is calculated as the number of favorable outcome divided by the total number of outcome. The probability is expressed as number between 0 and 1. The probability of 0 indicate the event will not occur. The probability of 1 indicate the event will definitely occur. Example, the coin is tossed once. What is the probability of getting tail in tossing a coin? Solution, the formula of probability is number of favorable outcome divided by the total number of outcome. The total number of outcome in a coin is head and tail. So, Two outcome, the number of favorable outcome tail is 1. So, probability of A equal to 1 by 2 equal to 0 0.5. Thank you.